What's poppin' peeps? Happy Sunday. T-Money up in the heezy. Here to do a collection overview for you guys today. Um, <clears throat> actually for me too, just as much. It's kind of a way for me to do, to run around. Because before I do these videos lately, I've been kind of running around. I've had my DVDs and my Blu-rays separated uh, for the longest time. But as I'm doing these collection overviews, and com I'm kind of, I'm combining everything together now just for, because I don't have shelving. And that's one thing when I, eventually get my own space or a larger space I'm gonna build sh custom shelving and I'm gonna be able to alphabet alphabetize everything and then first and foremost organize everything by like label and then all my DVDs and all the extra stuff will just be in alphabetical order um, but yeah uh, just been kinda of thinking about things lately in my life in general and, and realizing I've kind of gone a little bit it's an understatement off the tracks in terms of my spending and just buying for the sake of buying and it just doesn't mean as much to me anymore and when I'm in like this psychotic swirl of just oh I need this I need this like being just way too materialistic and and it's it's all horror stuff so it's all like I love it but there's you know there's just a fine line between like collecting I think for the sake of, oh, this is a movie I love, I have to own this, fine, that's great. Or, oh, this movie's coming out next Tuesday, I've never seen it before, I don't know anything about it, I'm going to buy it. Like, there's just so much wrong with that, and I've been doing that for a long time now, and it, it didn't used to be that way. So I definitely, I don't know if it's some sort of like fulfillment that I think I'm getting out of this because I don't have I lack in other areas of my life like I'm not in any relationship I don't have a lot of friends that live in the area anymore I work you know I don't have a whole lot really to do <laughs> I guess and that's my part of that's my problem I need to get up off my ass and um, you know stop watching movies and buying movies all the time when there's more positive things I can be doing for myself and just for, you know. Because at the end of the day, when, when I die, when we die, we don't take this stuff with us. So I'm not here to preach. I'm just kind of thinking through things out loud and I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so coming next in, in the new year, I'm really going to try and pick my spots. You know, stuff like Arrow... When they put out a Fulci film that's been remastered, yeah, I'm gonna get it, no doubt. But just the 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 every week checking, the the daily weekly checking on like like the horror blogspot website of the new releases and watching these guys talk about new movies that they got for free from producers and then going out and buying that like so blindly, I think is just stupid and I don't think it reflects well on me as a person. I don't want to be that way, you know? So, and, and, and in reality, I'm being that way. Uh, and, and, and also, you know, I don't just have this money to blow. I'm, I'm choosing to spend limited money source that, you know, limited income source that I have to do these things. And it just doesn't make sense. So, on a lighter note, we'll talk more about that in another video. I just had to get that out because I've been thinking about it a lot today. Kind of as I was just lately in a lot of things a lot of crude reminders of what's happening lately and it's good it's a reality check so yeah but just know that in the new year that I'm going to be more select on my purchases still going to be collecting but I'm not going to be buying every single IFC slash Scream Factory release that's going to stop uh, and a lot of the indie stuff that I appreciate and like you know I'm going to pick my spots if it's good maybe rent it first get you know get my Netflix account going Wow, there's a lot of dust on these movies. That should be a hint. <laughs> Too much dust, not enough love. Um, but yeah, and just like kind of watch things and go into things. Not so much, a lot less blind buying. So, yes. Um, let's get into this, though, on a lighter note. I'm here to do a collection overview of Blue Underground. Um, not really sure what I'm going to do, actually, in terms of um, the DVDs. Because a lot of these... Uh, DVDs that they put out are getting re-releases mostly by Blue Underground on so upgrades to Blu-ray so I purchased most of those um, 
and I'm not sure, like, because Suspiria is getting a bunch of releases coming up. And so I have to choose what I'm going to do specifically with the DVDs that I have, and even more so with the ones that are have re-releases. I'm probably going to sell, so you guys can look. I'm going to do, like, once I kind of clean up house there, spring cleaning or something like that, down the line a little ways, I'm going to get rid of, just unload a shit ton of stuff that I just don't really need anymore. Like, to the right of me over here is, like, probably 200 DVDs that don't ever even see the light of day. They're just there. And, like, there's good movies in there, movies that I'm not going to get rid of. But a lot of that is just filler, man. It's just space. Not filler in the sense that it's trash, but I just don't need it all anymore. So, anyway, yeah. Probably some of these, I'll, as, as I go, I'll mention ones that are getting new, new releases, by what companies, and kind of what I'm going to do. If I have a... You know, like a fond attach, you know, a special attachment to a specific film, then I'm probably just going to keep it because I like to collect different editions of the same films if I'm a big fan of them. So, all right, guys, let's get right into this. Six minutes in, I haven't even started, so <laughs> I apologize. Just fast forward. Well, at that point, it's too late. You won't know. So, all right. Uh, first up, and in no particular order, is uh, the Blue Underground release of an awesome Italian zombie flick, Nightmare City. Big fan of this film if you guys haven't seen it. Uh, check it out. It has like multiple releases. Uh, Raro Video put it out. Um, Arrow Video put it out. I think Blue Underground has a Blu-ray upgrade of it. So lots of choices. But the Blue Underground DVD. Actually funny story about this one. When I first got it. Um, like 2008 probably. I put it in my dvd player and the dvd like ate the shit out of it like this these weird like red rings of death but they were like like deep scratch rings the, the movie just uh, the player just ate the movie essentially and so i had to reorder the movie and and i have that it's been hanging on my door the scratch disc uh, in my room just on attack since probably 2008 or 2009 uh just because i love the film so much i didn't want to get rid of it so yeah you will see further down the line, I do have a lot of editions of Nightmare City in my collection because it is one of those films that I love so much. Uh, next up, we have Daughters of Darkness. Uh, I believe this has a Blu-ray upgrade as well. This is the two-disc special edition, and it includes the... thought it included the bonus film. Uh, maybe not, though. Let me just pop it open and see. Yes, The Blood Spattered Bride. So some of these um, Blue Underground editions, when they came out for Daughters of Darkness, they included The Blood Spattered Bride, which I think Mondo Macabro is going to be putting out. I've placed my pre-order for that as well. But that was cool. So it was like for the same price. I actually got this at Barnes & Noble. And um, so, yeah, but not all of the Daughters of Darkness Blue Underground DVD releases included that. But I, I was lucky enough to grab the one that did. Next up, one of my favorite slashers of all time, no doubt, Maniac. Gonna keep this one forever for sure, even though I have mucho releases of it. Good release though, it's got a really good documentary on it, which I think has been ported over to some of the Blu-ray releases as well. And that documentary is... I can't find it on here, but there's a really good documentary on this. I think it's like the Spinell story or something like that. I thought it was on that release. Uh, next up, Scream Factory just released or uh, announced Night of the Seagulls, but Blue Underground is the first movie to do these, to put these movies out. I did have the coffin box set, but uh, I sold it years back. Kind of regret that, but just trying to conserve space and stuff like that. So I ended up buying the two that I love the most, which is Return of the Evil Dead, which is the first film. I think, or is it the second? And then Tombs of the Blind Dead. Tombs of the Blind Dead is the first one. Return of the Evil Dead is the second one, I believe. So the first and second were my favorites. So those are the ones that I own for now. Probably will pick up, <coughs> excuse me, Night of the Seagulls from Scream Factory because I don't have it anyway. Uh, next up, one from um, Dario Argento. Inferno, really good release. Blue Underground, um is a really good company. I think they were like, is it true? Oh, it's owned by William Lustig, who directed Maniac and Maniac Cop and some other awesome movies. So um, I love, uh, what's that movie he put out? Uncle Sam. That's fun. Just an awesome holiday sla slasher, uh, 4th of July slasher. So, excuse me. 
Um, but yeah, so he owns the company, which is awesome. So you know there's going to be a lot of love and, and, and uh, not just putting any old thing out, as you can clearly tell from Blue Underground's catalog, because they, their titles are awesome. And a lot of uh, first-time watches for me as well. So Inferno, then, uh, this is one I actually haven't seen. I like the cast. It's not really a horror movie, but The Final Countdown. Starring Kirk Douglas, Martin Sheen, and James Farantino. And I think there's also um, Charles Durning is in it. Uh, somebody else, I thought. Catherine Ross. Ron O'Neill, Catherine Ross. But anyway, I haven't seen it. But that's now been upgraded to Blu-ray as well from Blue Underground. Another one that I don't think I've upgraded yet. I have to upgrade this one to Blu-ray is Uncle Sam. Because I really love this movie. Uh, the first time I saw this was in a movie store in Florida. Um, a blockbuster, actually. Down the street from my grandma's house. And this movie... And I think it was uh, Jack Frost. They both had that weird like lenticular VHS cover. Well, it was fun. But it kind of became like a running joke with me. Like all movies that had like really cool cover artwork like that lenticular, cool, shiny cover artwork suck, which is kind of true in a sense, but, you know, I've come to love these films and appreciate them from what they are. I think back then I didn't really understand them. I just kind of took them from what they are, um, front cover, like schlocky, shitty, you know, I wouldn't say cheaply made, but maybe, us, uh, you know, slasher films, horrible acting, horrible cast, that sort of thing, or I mean, uh, story, dialogue. But they're fun. So anyway, Uncle Sam. I always think of Uncle Sam and Jack Frost forever I will because of that. And also the movie Rabid by James, uh, I mean by Cronenberg. Uh, just because it was in that same Florida rental store. I, I rented that. House of a Thousand Corpses. Uncle Sam and Jack Frost. All based on the cover artwork. Uh, and those were VHS tapes too. Um, Alright, so next up. Don't Torture a Duckling. Fulci film. This has recently been given really nice treatment by Arrow, which I did grab. <clears throat> really nice release. And we have the classic, uh, this was like the, the, excuse me, the definitive Suspiria version for a very long time for me. Um, two disc special edition set. Like, I think um, Anchor Bay had put this out as well, but for me, this was the, the release that I sought after. It wasn't hard to find or anything, but yeah, so... Lots of Suspirias coming forward. We have uh, Umbrella putting that out. Synapse putting it out. We have the UK media book that's been put out. Gonna grab all those. Sus Suspiria is my favorite Argento film. So I'm gonna have to. S -s -s Suspiria. I don't know why I just did that. Uh, next up we have a newer film for me. Uh, it's an older film, but uh, Giallo. The Bloody Iris. Never seen this movie. Grabbed uh, Blue Underground over Anchor Bay because it was cheaper. And Blue Underground's great. Can't go wrong. If you have to choose between Anchor Bay and Blue Underground, um, yeah. Life isn't so bad. Those are both really good companies. Uh, next up, we have a film by Franco Nero, The Fifth Chord. Haven't watched it. I know it's like an Italian murder mystery, I think, or maybe Giallo. Anguish, this film was great. I love Zelda Rubinstein. She's awesome. Really fun. Psychological thriller horror movie, kind of. Really good. Check it out. Anguish. Uh, another great giallo, Black Belly of the Tarantula. Uh, yep. Blue Underground. I don't think that's given any Blu-ray upgrade or anything. These are really dusty, though. My... Sorry. Dust particles are flying into the picture. All right, so those are the DVDs. This movie, or I mean, uh, this update's 13 minutes. I'm going to stop it here, and I'll do the Blu-rays in a part two. Also, six minutes of this was just me gabbing and venting, but we'll keep it for that because if I do the whole thing, the rest of this rack, because I have more Blu-rays than I do DVDs by far by Blue Underground, it would just be way too long of a video. So I'll catch you guys. Number two, the Blu-rays coming up maybe today, uh, whenever I feel like it. Peace.